actually, it's funny. I've had people come up to me and be like, have you heard of that kid with the mainframe? And I'm like, hi. Like, that's, that's me. About several years ago, Connor started collecting vintage computers. Um, he was bringing home teletype machines, big old tape drives. You know, it's these types of things. It sounds like, shouldn't that be in a museum? And it's like, maybe, but it's in my basement. I've just always loved to know what makes something tick. And I've, it's just turned towards computers. I guess I could have become a doctor and cut people open, but I, it turned out to be computers that I want to rip open instead. So, <laughs> you know, I've got things here, like this is a PC. IBM PC XT in the box. I think it was either seventh or eighth grade science fair while most of the kids were doing, you know, the volcano type projects and growing plants. Connor built a hydrogen gas generator and was actually generating hydrogen. In fact, he told me not to play with it when it was in the garage and I did and almost blew it up. Once we got moved into this house and I kind of finagled the deal to get the basement, I started filling it with stuff. When he gets his mind set on wanting something, he's pretty convincing about it, which is kind of where we got with the mainframe. And of course we have the mainframe, the thing that everybody talks about and everybody knows me for specifically. He saw an ad for a IBM mainframe that was about 10 years old, I think, and he decided that he wanted this thing. And we actually tried to talk him out of it a little bit in the beginning. We brought this thing home and it was just huge. We got it off the trailer, kind of got it over to the side of the basement, realized it wasn't going to get under the deck. We had to rig up a um, chain fall up under the deck to lower it down into the basement well and then send it through the door. Flip the big red switch and it will uh, come up slowly. And I hooked it up and I you know, flipped the switch and came up and everything worked fine. Then he spent the next three months basically living like a hermit in our basement, learning how to get it up and working. It's 12, 13 years old and computers today are barely catching up to it. So it's, it's interesting to think, you know, that it was that far ahead at the time. Somewhere along the way, people kind of got started getting interested that this 18 year old kid had a, you know, full size IBM mainframe in his basement. Somebody wanted him to come and speak in Texas to his experience with this mainframe. And we were kind of like, wow, you know, that was one of our first inklings that this might be actually something that was good for him. It's been a couple months of quite the adventure, so, and that's what this entire presentation is about. You know, I gave the talk and somebody from IBM, Mark Anzani, was like, you know, this needs to be on YouTube in two weeks. And, you know, at first it, you know, it's like a few thousand views comes in and I'm like, wow, you know, that's getting a lot of views. And it was like 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, I'm like, uh, what's going on here? After his speech in Texas, I know IBM approached him and asked him to come up for um, a tour. I was like, hey, can I get a tour of the Poughkeepsie plant? And they were like, wait, you know what Poughkeepsie is? And I'm like, yeah, that's where the mainframe was created. That's where the original 360 was built. You know, I, I know a lot about the history of these machines and, you know, I, I don't think they really expected that. And they were like, yeah, sure, we'll give you a tour of Poughkeepsie. So, and you know, now I work there. <laughs> you know, I've never really known what I wanted to do, but collecting vintage computers, I, you know, IBM's always kind of stood out on top. You know, it's this company that's all, kind of did done everything, and they kind of always, you know, made the standard, the PC, the, you know, the mainframe itself. I've always been like, that's a company I would like to work at. You know, even have things like bus and tag cables. Um, the idea behind these is that this is how they used to transport data to and from, say, like tape drives or DASD hooked to the mainframe. People have the misconception that, oh, you know, you'll never get a job doing A because it's so niche. Well, mainframes are pretty niche, but also there's a lot of job openings coming up now. If you want job security, get into mainframes. You can make a lot more noise if I do the full power-up sequence. My parents could have shot me for getting this thing, and I, you know, I wouldn't be here, you know, I wouldn't have a job, I wouldn't have a house. Like I said, for all the hemming and hollering we did about it and asking <laughs> not to bring this great big thing in, uh, it was a major payoff. Uh, I mean, it was a, a fantastic opportunity for Connor. You never know. And that's it.